presumably you guys you know, reflect every day at some stage about the, the sacrifice that your comrades have, uh, have made and also the dangers that you face. Absolutely, it's not, it's not just a remembrance day that we, we think about these things, they're obviously on our minds the whole time. Um, it's very much a permanent presence at, at the moment, so um, very much permanent throughout out there. But uh, it's certainly more poignant for the families and friends back home, I think, because they haven't got a grasp of what we're actually experiencing out here. There's obviously a lot of kinetics involved, but we're also having a positive influence on, on the local population. We are achieving it, but there's a lot more that needs to be done. But uh, we're out every day, so we're, we're making positive influence, definitely. My memory of Dougie is always is that cheeky chappy, uh, very good looking chap, uh, looking out the, the corner of his eye, just smiling, grinning, laid back, uh, just in his company you felt like everything was going to be okay. He had a certain aura about him, Dougie, that was, was instantly detectable that you don't come across that often. There's, there's people who stand out who have that straight away, there's people who are very good leaders obviously, but, but people who just instantly have that sort of understanding and empathy with, with their soldiers. He would always lead by, lead from the front, and he would never ever expect you to do anything that he, he wouldn't have done himself. They were pretty battle-hardened by that time. Uh, they'd, they'd seen quite a lot of um, action. There'd certainly been an incident a few weeks earlier in which one of uh, their comrades had been killed. Dougie went to take even more control of it and was shown sort of outstanding leadership in a very uh, traumatic and dangerous situation and, and led the sort of rest of the people out. Even then they, they knew he was sort of pretty much in line for, for, for some sort of decoration for that. I was out on the, on the, the day that uh, Dougie hit the IED. We moved into checkpoint 50 and we all assembled in there while we waited for the IED clearance team. He saw it fit that instead of going round the road he would take a route direct through the wall and smash through the wall, climbed, climbed over the wall and that's where the incident happened. Assured, confident and a true hero, just some of the words used to describe Lieutenant Douglas Dalzell. Dougie's courage was amazing. Um, everything I've heard about him tells me that. Well, what's different about our trust? Well, it's because it's so broad, it can be less specific and react to soldiers' individual needs. And it really is right that those of us who have not suffered in the way some of them have, uh, you know, give to them in the way they so obviously deserve. The army is always going to be there for you, and they're not just going to forget about you, but it is nice to know that you've got things like the Dougie Darzell Memorial Trust to really sort you out when you've, when you've left the army and you're moving on with your life.